Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we thought we would share with you guys what a, like about a week and a half, not even quite a week and a half's worth of groceries looks like for our big family. We did Costco and Walmart this time. The last time we did this, we just showed you guys Costco and then we showed you like sort of a, a halfway Walmart haul at one point, but it wasn't really, it was just sort of like a lot of filler stuff and some junk. So this is like, I'm gonna share with you the meals that we have planned. I'm gonna tell you really quick what meals we're planning for, and then I'm gonna show you all the groceries. Okay, so we like to keep our meals pretty simple. We have a lot of tried and true recipes that we know that our kids will eat, or at least we aim for like five out of seven. If we can get five out of seven eating something, we're pretty happy with it. Um, so we kind of have staples that we stick to, and then sometimes we'll mix in something new. So this week we're gonna do a taco bake, and I will leave all of these recipes, as long as I can, linked down below. Like one of them's from a new cookbook, so I won't be able to link it, but um, a taco bake, which is super, super simple. It looks just like you think of like a layer of ground beef and tortilla chips and cheese, and it makes like sort of a taco casserole kind of thing. So that's one night. Then we're having an artichoke chicken. Um, that is from Danielle Walker's new book. What's the name of that book again? Oh, Eat What You Love. Eat What You Love from her new cookbook, Eat What You Love. And it's like an artichoke chicken with spinach. It's all cooked in one pot. It is so good and all of our kids like it, which kind of shocked me because it's got like artichoke hearts in it and I didn't think they'd all like it, but they all like it. Um, then we also have a ham because I bought two hams at Christmas and we didn't need them. So we're gonna do like a ham with mashed potatoes and some vegetables. And then we also are gonna do chicken parmesan, so spaghetti with chicken parmesan and a, I think we're gonna do a Caesar salad with that. Then we're also going to have Brinner. So for us, we love eating Brinner, so we get the stuff to either make pancakes and waffles, we usually do bacon and sausage and eggs, something along that line, like we make it really nice and filling. And then we also are gonna be doing chicken quesadillas. Um, those are pretty straightforward, but you won't see chicken in the hall because we have a ton of frozen chicken. So I didn't have to buy any this time, I just had to buy the other meats. Okay, so then we also have barbecue chicken, which is just like a pulled chicken that you make in the crock pot. It's super easy, you just drop the chicken in, cover it in barbecue sauce and let it cook. Um, and then you can just eat that plain. And then for sides, we usually just kind of, whoops, we usually kind of see what we have. We'll usually do like rice or mashed potatoes and then some kind of vegetable um, to go on the side with that. So those are like the seven planned dinners. Uh, we also usually will order pizza one night a week. And then it's also Kennedy's birthday. So we'll be doing something special for dinner as, as well then. So that's why I say like this is like a week and a few days worth of food. Um, but yeah, let's just jump in. I'm gonna show you guys the haul. And like I said, I will leave recipes linked down below in the description box if you guys wanna see uh, recipes for any of that stuff. Okay, so here is the massive Costco and Walmart haul. You too, are you eating your lunch? You having some noodles and some chicken and carrots? Yummy. Okay, let's focus up, Angie. All right, we've got two bags of honey crisp. I am not going to specify whether it's from Costco or Walmart. If that's a problem, let me know and I will change that in the future and tell you which store it's from if you guys really are unsure, but I'm not gonna get that specific. So, honey crisp apples. These are everybody's favorite apples. We've got some bananas, um, some cucumbers, some English cucumbers. And I got this at Costco, this teriyaki stir fry. After I just told you I wasn't gonna tell you where everything was from. <laughs> teriyaki stir fry, it just looked really good. Sometimes I get sucked into those things. Um, these little little snackable sweet peppers, they really are delicious just to snack on. Uh, spinach and mozzarella, ravioli. This is like, again, this is a good lunch thing for the kids. Green beans, we've got a Caesar salad kit. Excuse me, eat your lunch. Um, we got some guacamole. We usually get the other kind, but they had this, and I don't know if it's just repackaged or what, but it's the same brand, so hopefully it's good. Then we got our five dozen eggs flat right here. Then we have blueberries, which I love. I wish they weren't so expensive. Um, grapes, the big green grapes. This is delicious. The superfoods um, salad from Costco. Got a big bag of avocados. A big thing of pico. We'll use this for quesadillas and just for eating. Just a few hot dog buns. Often we 
eat hot dogs bunless. Um, but this is just for someone who may want them. Two loaves of bread. We've got some Italian style meatballs right here. These are good just to heat up quick to eat for one of these guys, um, but also good for dinners. Whoa, tears moving. Two giant bags of cheese from Costco. Giant bags of cheese. We've got uh, three berry blend, that's for smoothies. These are those amazing little mini wontons. It's $9.99 and this bag has made like probably six or seven or even more meals for me and Rosie. <laughs> uh, we both like the wontons. Let's see, over here we've got some mashed potatoes. I don't normally, this is the first time I've ever bought these, but I didn't really wanna buy a big giant bag of potatoes and these looked pretty good. These are from Risers. Is that how you say that, babe? Um, Risers, remember? Reesers? Yeah. Reesers. So when we lived in Oregon, they have like, this is, that's headquartered there. Uh -huh. um, so you could go there and buy food, but, and it was always really delicious. So I saw these and I thought, well, let me just try them because it's made with real potatoes. There's no artificial stuff. Um, so looked good. Mama Jamma thing of Parmesan. Raisin Bran. Okay, and then we got this these Kodiak cakes. I love these things I used to buy these all the time and I quit buying them and they had this giant one at Costco So I decided to see if hopefully the kids will like it too because these um, Kodiak cakes have a lot of protein in them So if we are gonna have something like pancakes for breakfast or even for dinner It definitely beefs up the protein that you're eating Then I got these for the babies little Annie's homegrown cheddar cheesy smile thingies I thought they might like to try those we haven't had those before Organic tortilla chips, always get those every time. <laughs> bacon, two things of bacon, two things of sausage, a salmon filet, how many pounds? Six pounds of ground beef. This is four packs of beef franks. We love these all beef franks. I can't even like eat a regular hot dog now. I love all beef franks. Basil and parsley. These are just a little Costco or a Walmart treat. Pumpkin snickerdoodle cookies. They look delicious. Kerrygold butter. I got some of these um, just because I really like English muffins and I'm not eating as gluten free much anymore. So, anyways, got those. Tortilla, ch not chips, tortillas. And I got three packages of these. So, these are for quesadillas. And then we just got some taco seasoning because we were out. Pickles, olive oil. Artichoke hearts, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, some olives for the cucumber olive salad thing, garlic powder, then we got some Greek dressing, and then I got a bunch of packs of these blueberry muffins. The kids love these, and all you have to do is add water, and it's just a treat for them. I got some cans of pineapple chunks, because we all like those. This was on major sale at Costco, so a three pack of these organic um, spaghetti sauces. Some more almond milk, half and half. These are my favorite. I love these Greek yogurts. Then we got some chicken broth, two things of chicken broth here. Got some granola bars. Those are Noah's favorite. Bunch of graham crackers for the babies. Some oatmeal, uh-oh. Looks like somebody might have gotten into those. I have no idea who would have eaten a giant oatmeal cream pie in the car driving home from the grocery store. Who would do that? Um, then we got two things of milk. I really wish we could get more. It would make more sense for us to buy probably four at a time, but we just don't have any place to store it. So two is all we can buy at a time. Towards, this is like our Hail Mary lunches. So if we are not gonna make pasta or cook anything, then pizza rolls, tater tots, throw in the towel and feed the kids. Charmin, ultra soft, so really just gentle on your booty. And some paper towels. Let's see, did I forget anything? Did I show the mushrooms? I might not have. I got those for Kennedy. Yeah, she loves mushrooms. I was actually just thinking last night how I don't eat mushrooms and I don't like mushrooms and I was like, ew, mushrooms. And I'm like, yeah, but I love truffles. And truffles are a fungus. So I really have no place to judge someone for eating mushrooms because I will eat the mess out of some truffle anything. I love truffles. This will feed our family of nine for about a week and maybe week and a half, right babe? Uh, we meal I mean some of the, dinners, dinners. yeah there were six or seven dinners meal planned and some of the stuff will obviously last longer like the cheese will last longer, some the, the cereal, food. like some of the frozen stuff and everything. Six pounds of ground beef. But these, yeah six pounds. Like three 
maybe four. Right. But all of these fresh stuff will be gone. Um, the, all the blueberries will probably be gone tomorrow. Huh? What's that tea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got Those are your favorite. All right, guys, that's it for our grocery haul. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel if you've not already. And we'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.